What is going on, YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. So I got three monthly dividend stocks to buy in November. Uh, these are consistent dividend stocks. I like consistency. When I invest in dividend stocks, I like consistency. I like dividend increases. These aren't prospect capital, AGNC, or SPHD. So if you're new to this channel, these videos are free for you guys. All I ask you to do is smash that like button. Hit that notification bell so you have free videos to check out and make sure you smash that um like button because you know the more likes i see the more videos i'm going to pump out and i'm going to be a little bit more active on this channel i have a few things in mind so you'll see some surprises so you got to hit that notification bell so let's check these stocks out right now now the first stock is main street capital this is a business development company remember with business development companies 90% of what they make have to go back to investors. That classifies them as a business development company. It has a 5.75% dividend yield, a PE ratio of 9.53, a market cap of 3.01 billion US dollars, the range is 28.30 to 44.27. So when you look at business development companies, you want to see revenue. Is the revenue increasing? Okay, that's the big thing with business development companies. I have done videos on Main Street Capital. I'll go over them briefly, what they're about, and I'm gonna show you their income and some surprises with their dividends. So let's check these guys out first. So as a business development company, they provide one-stop capital solutions for lower middle market companies seeking to grow transition ownership. We offer entrepreneurs, business owners, and management teams a number of advantages to help each business realize its full potential and generate wealth for the owners. So they're they have structures that meets the need of their portfolio companies and their owners. They provide long-term debt capital and are comfortable with making the majority and minority equity investments. You can rest assured that the trans transaction with us will be structured to align interest of empower managers. In the long-term, basically their goals, they're a saying that they're a publicly traded business development company. We're not required to return our investors capital by a specific date. As is typical of most institutional funds, this allows us flexibility to be a long-term partner in both good economics and more challenging markets. So here's some operational efficient execution. This is on their website. But the big thing that we want to really look into is what are their companies? What are these guys about? That's a big thing about a business development company. They just acquired somebody. This is an affiliate network that facilitates online market. I felt... I can't even say, hopefully I say it right. Affiliante, Affinity, AFG. So here's American Shooting Centers, AST. So these are, this seems well diversified. Cafe, Cafe Brazil. So again, as a business development company, they have a strategy and they're acquiring a lot of these companies, drilling info, um, just very interesting. You, you have to check out their website, Dental. Uh, they have a lot of stuff, golf, energy, hydrogen. So they know what they're doing. And I have to show you their revenue real quick because they really know what they're doing with their revenue doing very well. And again, with a business development company, I want to see that they're revenue, generating revenue. I want to see increase in revenue. So this is in millions of US dollars. It's 140, 160, 178, 205, 233, 243. And play the pandemic card. It's 222, 614. So it's down. Down a little bit. The price per share is down. Not too hot right now. And I have to show you its dividend history, which makes these guys so attractive. And these are why I own these guys. And, and I'll provide my rationales later. But I have to show you its dividend history. Right now, I'm looking at 2017. It was 18 cents. Now it's 21 cents on 11-23-2021 with a dividend yield of 5.8% with a PE ratio of 9.52 and an annualized dividend of $2.52. But there's more. So Main Street announces first quarter monthly dividends increase and in supplemental dividend pay payable in December 2021. Regular monthly dividends of 21.5 cents per share for each January, February, and March 2022, and supplemental dividend of 10 cents per share payable in December 2021. I like that. And here's some information right here, and which represents a 2.4% increase in the regular monthly dividends paid for the fourth quarter and represent a 
percent increase from the regular monthly dividends declared for the first quarter of 2021. Since October 20, 2007, the initial public offering has period, periodically increased the amount of its regular monthly dividends paid per share and has never reduced its regular monthly dividend amount per share. So this is the the reason why I have these guys and I own these guys and I'm longing them. And of course, I'm reinvesting those dividends. You're getting dividend increases over time. You get maybe some specials, you know, with a supplemental dividend of 10 cents per share payable on December 2021. That's not always a given, but I like the dividend increases. I like the increase in revenue over time. Now you can blame 20, you know, 2020 uh, for some dividend ish, or, you know, a dividend uh like where it's not going up, it's kind of like a uh, steadfast or a um, roadblock or however you want to say it, um, you know, stagnant. Let's just say a stagnant dividend, but it's finally making an increase. So keep an eye on the revenue, keep an eye on the earnings reports. It sounds pretty positive from what I've been reading, and I like the dividend increases. Let's jump to the next dividend stock. The next dividend stock I like is Agree Realty Corporation. I started buying more shares on my M1 Finance dividend portfolio. It's sitting at $70.42. It has a PE ratio of 40.03. Remember, FFO is big for real estate investment trusts. Dividend yield of 3.87. Its day range is 70.19 to 71.83. The year range is 61.27 to 75.95. These guys, I consider a huge rival to Realty Income, and they're, I have to show you their dividend history and how things are looking with these guys. It's very interesting with Agree Realty Corporation. These guys are a juggernaut, and, a lot, and I have to give the board of directors credit. They made a ballsy move. They said in 2021, basically, we're going to be a monthly dividend stock. We were quarterly dividends. Now we're monthly dividends, and these guys have been on fire. I have to show you their portfolio. It's very similar to Realty Income. It's almost like a mirror image. So let's check these guys out. These guys are really expanding. They have 1,338 properties, 1,338 properties. Now O has 6,000, but these guys are, they're incredible. And I have to show you the type of properties that they carry which is like really similar to realty income it's it's amazing how similar these guys are to oh they have amco aaron's rents advanced auto parts aldi amc applebee's aspen dental now again a lot of these buildings that they have and that they're a landlord for there's a lot of stability and there's a lot of security you know it's, it's almost like it's pandemic proof and recession proof with a lot of these companies too and now again this is not financial advice for entertainment purposes only disclaimer in the description but look at these at&t autozone this is almost similar to realty income very interesting with their portfolio there's a lot of auto zones people need their cars fixed bank of america bass pro shops BBT, Bed Bath & Beyond, Bell Tire, Best Buy. People are still in Best Buy. Big Lots, Big O Tires, Billboard, BJ's Wholesale, Bridgestone, Firestone. They're a huge landlord. Burger King, Burlington. I mean, this is their diversification. And I'm only on B. Here's D, Dollar Tree, Five Below, Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, Kroger, LA Fitness, gee, doesn't Realty Income have fitness centers? Lazy Boy, Lowe's, okay, so that, that's Marshall's, Mattress Firm, Mavis Discount Tire, I mean, you're at McDonald's, Men's Warehouse, they're really expanding, and they're, they're powerful. NTB, O'Reilly, Auto Parts, Sherwin-Williams, Stripes, Sunbelt Rentals, that is a lot, and I'm still going. Target, Texas Roadhouse, Tire Kingdom, Tractor supply. So you're getting all of these type of buildings that they're a major landlord with. And I have to show you their dividend portfolio. And I'm going to compare their dividend uh, growth compared to realty income. It's very interesting. So here's their dividend yield 3.86%. Their annual dividend is $2.72. A three year dividend growth, 18.77%. Dividend pay payout ratio, 84.21%. I'm not too worried because. Okay, it's going up 20 cents, 21, 22. 
it's really catching up to realty income, 22.7 cents. So here's our payout ratio breakdown, payout ratio 84.21 based on next year's estimates, 71.20, 77.05 based on cash flow, 94.21. Three-year dividend growth with a re Agree Realty Corporation, 18.77%. Annual dividend of 272. And then they say finance companies and NYSE companies. That's fine. It's a monthly dividend real estate investment trust. I'm not too worried. Again, went from 20 cents when they started. In 2021, they're 22 cents. So they're jumping up very fast. Their annual dividend, look at this. And I'm going to jump to O real quick. Isn't that interesting? And a dividend yield of 3.92%. Three-year dividend growth is 10.41%. Now, again, they have consistent dividend increases, but look, look at how slow they are compared to Agree Realty Corporation. So now you're seeing a little bit of a difference. Agree Realty Corporation could, now again, this is not financial advice, but they could catch up to these guys and increase their dividend a lot faster than these guys. So it's like the tortoise versus the hare. This time the tortoise is starting to lose right now and the hare is starting to catch up and it might be too late. So I just want to keep an eye on this one. I own this one. I'm not long in it. I'm going to start buying more of these guys because I really like the dividend increase. Look at this track record. 27 years for realty income. Great uh, monthly dividend stock. That was my bonus stock that I wanted to add for you guys. And Realty Income, remember that they have 6,000 properties, which make them very interesting. And I'm going to show you one last dividend stock. So we got basically three of them that I mentioned. Realty Income, Agree Realty Corporation, and uh, Main Street Capital. And I'm going to jump to my last one. So I kind of had Realty Income as my bonus stock. Now we're going to go to the last one. It's very interesting Gladstone Land Corporation. Now, this is a real estate investment trust that is farmland. Okay, this is a focus on farmland. I did a few videos on these guys. These are acquiring a lot of farms. I, there's a lot of stability with these guys. Now, again, people need food. So it's pandemic proof. It's recession proof. It's dividends increased. It's year range was 1379 to 2604. Now, the dividend yield is two point two percent but you're getting consistent dividend increases they're always making announcement with dividend increases and i have to show you its dividend history real quick it's pretty slow 2019 it was four cents slowly creeping up very slow it's like 0 0.45 but it seems like each month it just goes up so eventually it'll probably hit five cents which would be nice but it's slowly increasing its dividend so you need to buy into it, expect it to slowly increase its dividend. You know, it's not going to get to 10 cents in two years. So I'm just letting you know, this is one that I bought. I wanted to diversify my real estate investment trust or my rate portfolio. So I added these guys. I was almost going to sell them and throw them in EPR, but I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to back off, let these guys reinvest, get to 100 shares, see what happens and enjoy the ride. Let the monthly dividends kick in, have a lot more um, dividends kick in. And, you know, my goal is to make $1,000 to $3,000 a month of my monthly dividends, $2,000 to $4,000 a month of my quarterly dividends. These guys will help me do that. It's going to be a slow process. So I'm not expecting them to get to $0.10 cents in two years. I got Agree Realty Corporation. I got Mainstream Capital. And I got an, um, Realty Income to you know help me get to that goal and these guys are going to take time so just leave them alone reinvest the dividends and go from there so if you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos what do you guys think about these monthly dividend stocks do you own any of them what do you think about agree realty corporation catching up to realty income i think that they are a serious threat so let me know what your thoughts on that what do you like about maine okay that business development company that's probably my favorite one over gain. So I like Maine over gain for sure. And I think that's my favorite uh, business development company. Let me know what your favorite BDC is. So again, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. This is Dark Divin and you guys have a good one. I'm actually going to post another video for tomorrow. I'm going to be working 
but I'm going to make one right now. I'm going to give you my honest opinion, and I'm going to tell you I'm going to do a dividend stock analysis with the stock because I have time finally. And uh, I, th I want to see what your thoughts on this next video that I post because it's really interesting. Some people are buying in. Some people are excited. Some people are like, meh. I'll give you my thoughts on a certain dividend stock, a popular dividend stock, and uh, we'll go from there. So you guys take care and have a good night.